Hello, this is Dr. Beth Cudney, and in this video, we're going to be talking about check sheets. Check sheets are a very useful quality tool. Check sheets are structured, prepared forms that are used to gather and analyze data, typically as part of our process improvement efforts. Check sheets are also one of the seven basic quality tools. The other basic quality tools include the cause and effect diagram, the control chart, histogram, Pareto chart, scatter diagram, and then finally stratification, or sometimes you'll see a flow chart or a run chart included as the final one. And check sheets are used as part of the plan, do, check, act cycle in order to help solve quality related issues. So before we dive into what check sheets really are, let's talk about when you should use check sheets. Check sheets should be used when you've got data that can be observed and collected repeatedly. And you should be able to do this then at the same location by the same person. That way you're collecting the same data. So typically in quality improvement efforts, you're collecting data on a quality characteristic. And this could be by different operators, but it should be operators that are running the same process. You can also use check sheets when you're collecting data on the frequency or patterns of events, problems, defects, defect location, defect causes, or other similar issues. And check sheets are very useful when you're collecting data from a production process, again, typically as part of your process improvement efforts, so that you can collect and analyze that data to help with your process improvement efforts. Check sheets are a way of going through our process and documenting what the various steps are in the process. And as we go through and complete those steps, we check them off. Um, so it's a very simplistic tool to go through and, and monitor our process and make sure all the steps are being completed in the proper order. But it, it has quite a few benefits in terms of making it very visual. It's very easy for anyone in the organization to use these and interpret it. You can also organize data very easily with a check sheet. Most commonly what I've seen check sheets used for are travelers. And travelers are pieces of paper that move with a part and as specific tasks are done or processes are completed for a, a, a a specific part, then it's checked off. Um, and these are particularly useful when you've got products that are moving from various operations throughout an entire facility to make sure that steps aren't skipped. For example, when we had parts going through heat treat, we would have a traveler with the parts that wouldn't go through the heat chamber, but it would go with the parts so that you made sure that they did go through heat treat before they came back and finished their manufacturing process. So with our check sheets, the basic steps are to go through and identify what the information is that you're going to be collecting. Um, and as you go through your check sheets, it could be, as I mentioned, a traveler. So you've got various steps. And as you go through each step that you're going through and collecting those, or it could be a check sheet where you're, you're actually writing down information at each step along the way and collecting data. Um, so it really just depends on what you're trying to do. You could do it to follow a part through various processes or collect data at certain steps in the process. And it honestly could be a mixture of both. So you start by figuring out what you need to collect. And then in step two, you're going to decide who's going to collect the data, how often it's going to be collected, um, and how the data is going to be collected. And then that check sheet is created so that it's very useful for the operators that are involved to collect that data and write it down. And then you want to make sure as you develop these check sheets that the information is accurate that you're collecting. So one of the issues that I see often with check sheets is that data is collected over time, but no one ever goes through and uses that data, or they don't use it in a timely fashion. And so the information becomes hard to read because manufacturing conditions or it's an oily environment, um, things start kind of smudging. 
And also, if operators don't see you using the data, they don't take as much care and time in putting that data down. Um, so it's important that if you do use check sheets, that you use them frequently and actually use the data. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please check out my other videos on the remaining seven basic quality tools for process improvement. Thank you.